Hey, JP here. One of our big projects is the hybrid chemical electric rocket engine. They are what's going to drive our airships. Our process is to do lots and lots of miniature engine tests, each on a particular aspect or component, and then scale up. This is one of the test components. It's a paraffin acrylic potassium motor block. We've been igniting them by standing in front of it and holding a propane torch to it. Now this works fine for the little ones, but it's not really a good idea for the bigger ones. We want to avoid that. For the next round of motors, we made a very simple high voltage spark generator for the ignition. Here it is. We made it from an automotive relay, a capacitor, a switch, and a coil from a 1968 Volkswagen Bug, and powered it by a 12 volt battery. The capacitor is connected across the coil of the relay, and it makes what is called a tank circuit. The capacitor fills up and discharges, and then fills up again, each time triggering the coil or switch of the relay. The relay connects the coil to the battery. This happens over and over again, hundreds of times each second, each time creating a spark. This type of system is usually done in a more complex way, with a 555 IC and MOSFETs. But this one puts out a strong spark and it is very robust and reliable. It's a bit hard on the relay and likely we'll need to change it every now and then, but that's okay. Our next step, we needed to change the whole thing from a bunch of parts taped on the table to something we can use. Time for the Ziploc box. This is it. The parts are hot glued onto a plate of acrylic, and then the whole thing is just popped into a box. You know, a lot of folks are appalled, but I like to make my prototype boxes out of Ziploc food containers. They're easy to use, no screws like traditional project boxes, they're five for a dollar, and most importantly, they're clear. So you can see the parts inside while they're working. I don't worry about pretty until production. This is the basic setup. Circuit and switch, battery, coil, cables, and battery clips. We've put the coil as close as we can to the rocket motor for a strong spark. We made a little oxygen-fed acrylic motor block to try it out. We tried several combinations of placement of the spark unit until we got it right. Ignition.
This iteration of the motor ignition system works for the current series of tests, and I think it'll be fine for the next scale up to the five foot motors. After that, we're gonna start looking to a better system. One that we actually integrate into the motor itself. You know, big projects like the Airship to Orbit program are actually giant collections of little projects. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.